Anthony, yeah, back with the YouTube video. I can tell by the title. I mean to uh, say this should not be happening. So basically, two games this well coming out this month. So we've got two games coming out this month that are thirty FPS. Now I know people are probably thinking, Anthony, stop complaining. It's only thirty FPS. I'm sorry, no. Um, the difference between thirty FPS. And 60 FPS is astronomical. It's crazy. Now, people who were complaining about people complaining about, you know, 60 FPS and 30 FPS. It's a game changer. 30 F uh, 60 FPS is a game changer. For example, uh, Plague's Tale. The game looks stunning. Plays very well. However, if that game was 60 FPS, a Plague's Tale Requiem, it would look so much better. The combat would be better. The movement will be better. The graphics will probably be better. Everything will be better. Just because it's 30 FPS, it's not as good as it looking 60 FPS, if you know what I mean. It's just it's just frustrating. Now, Gotham Knights is coming out. Uh, two days, I believe. Friday. I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, I'm thinking about the combat. Just imagine the combat in 30 FPS. It'll be a bit rough. It'll be rough. Um... So it is frustrating. I just don't. There's literally, and I, I saw this dev on Twitter saying that the reason why this is the case is because of the Series S. No, the Series S can run at 120 FPS, same as the other consoles can. So there's literally no excuse at all. It's why games should be fed, lo literally locked, capped at 30 FPS. There's no excuse for it. It's as simple as that. Zero excuse. Zero excuse. Um, it's it, it's it's just frustrating. It really is. Now, like I said, we're in twenty twenty two. There's a reason why people like me have of course bought a PS five, bought a Series X because the games will run better. People didn't buy a Series X or a PS five to play games at thirty FPS. They simply didn't. Every game that should be coming out now should be have like like a sixty FPS performance mode. It's as simple as that. There's no excuses, no simple as that. So I'm. I hope no more games. That, the games that come out this year are not um 30, 30 FPS. Like I said, a play say Requiem, even though 30 FPS played well, it looks amazing, of course. But like I said, with that 60 FPS, it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Nobody now the reviews for Gotham Knight, they're not out yet, which is a bit of a concern. Um. Obviously, we'll find out what the performance is on that without without the six FPS. But my this is my um this is my um this is what I think is good. More Gotham Knights. I think the story will be good, but the combat and when you're flying across the way, you know, when you're driving about, it look rough. Um, this is, literally it should be six FPS. It should be six FPS, but it is what it is. So yeah, leave a comment below, guys. What do you think? Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think every game that comes out should have like a 60 FPS performance mode uh, on the Series X and the PS5, of course? It's just, it's like a, it's like a step backwards. Do you know like when games should be taking a step forward into that next generation? I felt as if these two games have to like a step back. It's, it's, it's strange. And also as well, do you know, A Plague Tale Innocence, protect me if I'm wrong. Um, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, should I say. Was that 60 FPS in 4K? I'm pretty sure it was. So I found it weird how a Plague's Tale Requiem was all, it's not 4K. Uh, not 60 FPS. It's very strange. So let me know in the comments below. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? I'm exaggerating. Let me know in the comments. And we'll have to talk about it. So thank you for the support, guys. You're all amazing. I appreciate you all so much. Take care. See you in the next video.